Hello, welcome to Arts and Class YouTube channel. My name is Meredith. I'm the creator and main DIY furniture flipper of this website. And today I'm very excited to share with you my most recent project. I am a big fan of finding furniture for free on the curb or via hand-me-down furniture. And I was super excited when my old landlord had this drop leaf table ready for me when I came to pick up another item that was uh, delivered to my old apartment accidentally. She's very sweet. I'm so glad that she and I still have a connection because she's such a big fan of the work that I do. So she honestly is like, I, you're the first person I thought of when I found this piece and she has two small children. So it didn't really work well in her space. So she's like, I felt like this is something that maybe you could work on flip and sell. And so I was able to load it up in my car and take it home with me. Honestly, it was such a fun project to work on. Uh, I am a big fan of uh, painting furniture and then also stenciling furniture to give it like a custom look. So this piece I know you're gonna love and you're gonna see what I did from start to finish. So I hope you enjoy. And if you do enjoy, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the little bell to be notified when I post new videos. All right, let's get started. So this is the table before when I first got it. It's a little beat up, but has so much potential. I love the drop leaves. I, you don't see that much with furniture anymore. So when I first start any piece, I like to make sure it's wiped down and I remove any unnecessary items like drawers or knobs or anything like that that would get in the way of me wiping it down. And I know I'm gonna paint that separately. And then I move on to sanding. Now typically when I work with chalk paint, I don't need to sand the surface. That's kind of the point of chalk paint, but be because this table was a tiny bit beat up, I really wanted to smooth out the surface of the, of the tabletop. So I decided that Paint, or I'm sorry, sanding it would be the right decision. And then after that, I just like to make sure it's clean. So I use some eco-friendly cleaner to clean it off. This is the paint I'm working with today, Deco Art Americana Decor Chalky Finish. And the color is called Yesteryear. It's a really beautiful light gray color. Now this is the portion that is going to take up the most time of this DIY project. I have to paint a lot. So typically with chalk paint, you only have to do a couple of layers and it's great because chalk paint typically a little bit can go a long way but because this table had such a dark stain to it I had to do many layers so I think I did about three or four layers especially on the tabletop if you can see in the middle center there's like a tiny little red dot or a couple red dots that keep showing through so it took a while for me to allow the paint to dry and then do another coat and then let the paint dry and do another coat but it was kind of nice to be able to toggle back and forth between doing the legs and then going back to the tabletop. I just use an angled brush for this project. You can also work with chalk finish brushes if you'd like, but I have such an arsenal of supplies uh, that this brush size was kind of perfect for this piece. So I decided to just use that. You can also apply chalk paint with a foam roller or if you want to do, as I said, a chalky brush you can do that as well. I like to work from all different angles on a table because especially this table because there were so many little intricate details so I like to really make sure that I you know got in every area because something that I run into a lot when I when I especially when I first started DIYing was you know you work from one angle you think you've got all your surfaces covered you put your stuff away for the day or your paint away and then you flip it over and you're like oh great i forgot one side or i forgot one part and you have to break everything out again so just make sure you're always working around every single angle of whatever project you're working on so that you make sure that you've covered all surfaces
also flip it on its side. Uh, and I actually found a few little spider friends living on the underside of the table where the drawer was. So I had to use a towel to try and get them away from that area while I was painting. So note to you, always make sure that you check of the piece of furniture for any sort of insect friends that may be living underneath it before you load it up into your car. These kind of surprised me and freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> but it also allowed me a better angle to be able to paint and make sure I got every single surface covered. I painted the drawer with the same Art Americana Decor chalk paint in the color Everlasting. And the stencil medallion that you see is called a Fleur Medallion stencil from Deco Art. So when I apply a stencil, I always kind of place where I want it to go and then I add Spray 77 and then that kind of helps keep the stencil in place so it doesn't rise up and then I like to secure it with blue tape and then I take out my foam roller with the color that I decide to use and I lightly go over the stencil in a lot of different angles. If you push too hard there's going to be bleed underneath so you want to make sure that you lightly roll the paint on. Ride. I like to slowly rise it up. See how perfect that came out? I'm so pleased. Now as kind of a designer of furniture that I rehab, I decided that I wanted to use the same stencil and just use half of it on either leaf to keep the pattern going and to add something to the leaves when they're up so it doesn't look too boring or, you know, and you want to just keep the leaves down. I wanted it to have a little more in intricacy to it and I really think that this Fleur Medallion helped me achieve that. So as a reminder, make sure that you secure the stencil before you start painting with a Spray 77 or some sort of spray adhesive. Painter's tape helps and then make sure you're lightly applying the paint to the stencil. For either side of this drop leaf table where I stenciled, there was a tiny bit of bleed and I'm not exactly sure why, but that meant that I needed to break out my artist brush. So I'm also an artist, but I have a, I have a ton of paint brushes. So I went back in with the same colors and I basically fixed up some of the areas that were kind of bleeding through and kind of messing up the design. It was really easy to do. That is the after of the table. Okay, so what did you think of the project? I'm a big fan of Deco Art. They are the main reason this, this furniture flip happened because they were able to send me some amazing chalk paint. They have these chalked finish line called Americana Decor and they have so many different colors and uh, they, you can buy them on the Deco Art website so make sure you check those out and it's also very reasonably priced as opposed to other chalk paint that I've worked with and uh, there the stencil that I used on this piece too was also Deco Art so make sure to check it out you will also be able to see in the description below a link to the project where I will have a breakdown of everything I used so you can go directly to the site to buy it yourself if you would like to. Also, please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this project. I would love to hear your feedback. And also, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this project. And make sure you hit that little notification bell to make sure you're notified when I post the next video. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a happy new year. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks.